Hi guys, I'm Sarah and I am going to make some cinnamon scrollies, some cinnamon pinwheel rolls if you like. Now I'm, I'm not using the traditional recipe for this, um, although I absolutely love cinnamon rolls. I've always found them a little bit too blow your head off sweet, if you know what I mean, because obviously there is a lot of sugar in this recipe, both in the sugar cinnamon mix in the middle and the glaze on top, there's not much getting around that. So I'm just going to use two ingredient dough for the base dough recipe. So just reduce the sweetness down a little bit. I'm going to use two cups of self-raising flour and one and a half cups of Greek yogurt. Of course, this is a sweet recipe. So if you want to try using another type of yogurt, say a vanilla yogurt or something like that, I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work perfectly in this. So we'll just mix those together. Just keep your flour on hand because you may need to you may need a bit more. And just give that a knead. It'll still be still be a little bit on the sticky side. Put more flour out on the bench. We just want to keep kneading this dough until it's not sticky at all. Because if it's if it's even just a little bit sticky, of course it's gonna stick to your rolling pin. So Just smoosh it around, keep adding little bits of flour until you can't feel any more stickiness. Get a rolling pin, flour that. Now we want to roll this out into, into sort of a rectangle shape. About, probably just a bit more than a centimetre thick. Just gonna use my hands to make that rectangle-y. <laughs> we just want to make our cinnamon mix, which will go in the middle. Now you can use either brown or white sugar for this. I'm actually using a combination, of course, white sugar is cheaper. I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of white sugar and a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. As, you say, as I say though, half a cup of white sugar is fine or half a cup of just brown sugar is fine. I'm going to mix those up with one tablespoon of cinnamon. Now of course that's a personal taste thing as well, the, the sugar to cinnamon ratio. I think one tablespoon is plenty. I'm just going to melt about two tablespoons of butter just to get this cinnamon sugar something to stick to. Look at my hands, that's classy that is. I'm going to flavour that butter around. Actually probably just one tablespoon of melted butter would have done it. I'm going to get the cinnamon sugar mixture. Oh yeah. And sprinkle. Now start rolling this up from, from one of the slightly shorter ends. And my trusty non-stick mat. Yeah. Just as coordinated as I can while lifting that onto there. My chickens have escaped. They're coming down the driveway. They just want a cinnamon roll. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to cut these up into, and I guess about two centimetre strips. And as much as I think, I'd, oh look at that, it's sloppy. Should have added more flour. It's a bit sloppy. Let's put a bit of flour on the knife. And I actually find it easiest to use a bread knife. Okay, I'm just going to put them sort of about two centimetres apart. Now of course, if you want to, you can put them like in a in a tray, like in, in maybe a circular spring form pan and make them all together so, so they come out kind of looking like a pull apart, like, um, like I did with my hot cross buns. There you go, and then the usual sort of strange scraggly looking bit at the end. So, <laughs> As I say, I preheated the oven to 180 degrees and I'm just going to pop them in for 20 minutes or until, they, until they're done, until they just start going slightly brown on the outside. Now, when it comes to the glaze on top of them, I'm not really big on, on that glaze or too much of it. I think you need a little bit, especially if you're doing a slightly more savoury dough like I'm doing. 
but you do you do need a little bit of it but not much but if you want more you you make it thicker you go for it I'm going to put about one third of a cup of icing sugar in a bowl and then just enough milk to make it pourable you can also add vanilla essence into this which I probably would be doing if I was organized enough to have bought vanilla essence but <laughs> I didn't realize we'd run out so that's fine it's not a major you could also add um, a little bit of maple syrup into this if you want so I'm just gonna put about I don't know I'm just using a soup spoon but <laughs> about a tablespoon ish of milk that's all you need that that is that is literally all you need for the sugar glaze milk and syrup Oh yeah. Alright, check these out. I've actually, I pulled them out of the oven and I've just let them cool for five minutes just to make them cool enough to handle. Oh god, this house smells so good right now. I'm just going to drizzle it all over. Now, as I say, I'm not really big on tons and tons of that sugary drizzle stuff. But you know, if you want to whip up more, if you want to get that real nice white glaze on you do you and you let me tell you what to do i'm not going to wait for these to cool down i refuse i'm just going to dive in <laughs> the kids can do a review when they get home from school i've cooled down a bit by then but oh they smell so good i'm just i'm just going for the little one i'm just going for the little one at the end that no one else is going to want anyway oh. that is a lovely texture that is yummy. That is beautiful. As I say, to me, that little drizzle of glaze is just enough for me. That is so nice. You know, the, the cinnamon sugar mixture on, I did I did put it on pretty thick, but you want to, you know, there's as I say, there's no sugar in that dough itself. So that's where all the sweetness comes from. That's the right amount of cinnamon. It's very pronounced, you know, it's very cinnamon forward. Of course it is, there's, you know, they're, they're cinnamon rolls. <laughs> and there's the best bit, licking your fingers. Uh, seriously, this the, this is the nicest cinnamon scrolly recipe. I think, again, because it's not blow your head off sweet. It's a lovely texture, I can't stop eating it. Mm. Hit like, leave me a comment, make some of these. <laughs> Hit subscribe. We'll catch you next week. Bye. Official taste test. I like it. Yum! I love cinnamon. What do you think? Is it a good amount of sweetness? Yeah. A good amount of cinnamon? And got wash your hands.